You can find all of the materials I used in this video at mandalaart.com in this month's box. And there will be a giveaway for this box. Check the description box below to get all the details. dough color for the pizza, I just mix some white, tan, and a little bit of brown clay together. Then I started to press it and I left the edges a little bit thicker and that'll just look like the crust. I dusted chalk pastels all around the edge to make it look like it was baked. I use the edge of my paintbrush to create more texture in the crust. Now I'm just cutting out slices. I'm using a toothpick to texture the edges of the crust and I'm just conditioning some red clay before I put it on the pizza and basically conditioning just helps it to get really soft and it'll make it more pliable and then I can make it look stretchy like it's actually sauce and not clay. The cheese color is just white clay mixed with a tiny amount of yellow.
Now that the cheese is all smooth, I'm just going to add some tomato slices from the cane. And then I'm going to add some onion slices also from another cane. You can add the sausage slices if you want. I'm also going to add like little pieces of green clay to look like basil. Um, and then black clay which will look like little olives. When you're finished, you can bake the pizza for about 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I'm going to make a popcorn charm and then a confetti popcorn charm. If you want to watch a very detailed video about how to make these little popcorn pieces, I have two that I'll link in the description box below. So I cut out the template, I scored the edges, and now I'm just going to glue it together at the seams. And if you want, you can paint it with clear paint or varnish just to protect it if you want to wear it as a brooch or a piece of jewelry. So once it's all, once the glue is set, I just packed it with white clay. And then once it was packed to the top, I just topped it with these little pieces of white clay that I kind of picked apart with my toothpick and then rolled them a little bit and they look kind of like popcorn kernels. You can add brown clay um, to look like the little seeds that are kind of burnt um, if you want, but I kind of like this look. The confetti popcorn is the same except it's way more fun because there's like little confetti pieces or fake sugar mixed into the clay. So I just mixed this in. I ended up adding more so the color would show more. And the kernels are going to be made the exact same way. I'm just going to make a bunch of them and piece them together. I don't have favorites, but I think this is definitely my favorite. I love this one. It's just a little bag with candy falling out of it. So I'm just going to cut the template, score it, and then glue it just like always.
I made little gummy worms which are super easy just roll two little pieces of clay together cut them so each color is the same length on either side and then make little indents to make it look like a worm I also wrapped some foil in um, around little pieces of clay just to look like pieces of candy and then you can bake the f uh, clay in the foil without any problems. It won't burn or anything. You can also bake any of the templates in the oven. They won't burn. It's just kind of like baking a cupcake. Like you pour the batter into the wrapper and then you bake it but the paper doesn't burn just because it's in the oven. You know, it's kind of like that. So don't worry about the templates burning. They won't. And I love this little guy. I made a bunch of little gummy bears um, and I mixed all these colors with translucent clay which is also in the box um, just to make them look a little more transparent. Here is the chocolate bar mold and my attempt at making a little swirled chocolate bar with like candy on the back. I'm going to try again later. And now I'm going to make nachos in this little tray. I have another video where I made nachos. I'll link that in the description box below if you want to see it. Um, this is very similar so I'm just going to cut out the template fold those little edges, glue it together. To make the tortilla chip color, I just mix yellow, white, and translucent clay together, and then a little bit of this black fake faux like pepper into the clay, and then pressed it all out like that, and then smashed it with some sandpaper to give it texture. And then now I'm just going to add some chalk pastels to give it a little bit of color, and I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to cut out little triangular chips. Here I'm making a little cup for some nacho cheese um, and then once all this is baked in the oven again for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit you want to take it out once it's cooled and then we'll glue it all back in later once we turn it into like jewelry. Now I'm going to make a little salad tray with an avocado because I love them. Who doesn't love avocados? To make the avocado cane, I made about five colors of green and then rolled them all together so the colors started to blend together. So I rolled them out like that, rolled them back up and then rolled them out and then rolled them back up and blah blah blah. Keep in mind you can change the colors and use less light or more dark or 
whatever variation you like but the technique is just really easy you just want to roll them together so the colors blend easily together and they just look like one uniform variation of color like that so I took it out shaped it and then made that little hole where the seed would naturally go and to make the lettuce I'm just mixing some green and yellow clay together and pressing it out and then like kind of tearing it apart to look like lettuce If you want to see a very detailed video about how I made more salads, I have it and I'll link it in the description box below for you. Now we're at the fun part. Once everything is baked, you just want to glue, like kind of take everything out and then glue it back in place. With the salad, all of those pieces kind of fuse together so you don't have to take everything out. But like the pieces like the avocado and some of the canes, I had to glue in individually. And with the nacho cheese, I had to do the same. All the chips kind of fuse together so I glued those in one clump. And then that burger, again, I'll, if you want to see a video about how to make a burger, I'll link that in the description box below because I have one for you. And the little candy box, so I glue, I put a strip of glue at the bottom and I'm just laying the candy on top of that little strip of glue. And for some pieces, it may be easier to add the glue directly to the bottom of the candy and then glue it in. I, I layered some more pieces like that gold candy and it was just easier for me to add the glue to the bottom of the piece of candy rather than trying to add the glue to the inside of the box. And don't forget to clean away any excess glue by just wiping it off. So you can turn these pieces into earrings, rings, charms, brooches, or pins. To get the materials from this video, visit modulaart.com and click this month's box. So I love you guys, I hope you love this video, and I'll